Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to do a draw shot. So from center, it's going to be right about there on this bottom dot. Let's do it. <clears throat> so what a lot of players first learn at the bottom, make sure to shot before every shot, is that they'll kind of jack up and kind of do an improper draw shot. The reason that's bad is because when you jack up, first it's, it's a bad way to shoot, and sometimes you might scoop it and jump the ball by accident, so it's really a bad habit that you don't want to have. The right way to do it is to make sure that your cue is as level as possible and that you're actually following through with your shot. What a lot of people do is they put bottom, they just kind of, kind of jab it, right? You don't really get the same effect if you uh, actually follow through. So if I follow through nice and steady, you'll see my cue send out, I'll get a much better draw shot. See that? Pretty big difference and I didn't have to hit it very hard. So uh, say you were in a situation like this where, I don't know, your five ball is uh, kind of in a tough spot and you need to break it out. Well, this is a pretty good example of why you would want a pretty good draw shot. So, Nice and steady, low, I'm going to make sure I follow through. I'll do one more, so for some chop, I'm going to aim low, nice and steady, follow through. So. Low, follow through. See that? And uh, if you're having trouble with, or if you're worried about the cue, the ball hitting at the ball and rolling back into your stick, you can always pull it back, move it to the left or right, or just move it up out of the way. So what I like to do is just pull it back really quick, but whatever is easier for you. So, slow and steady, aiming low, 